guys, for today's video, we're doing another squishy makeover. If you're new here or you just haven't read the description of my videos or the title of my playlist, yes, my squishy makeover series is inspired by Mariah Elizabeth and Mariah is aware that I do squishy makeovers. In the past, I've done regular squishy makeovers and squishy Top Chef makeovers, which I totally love. It's a food competition, and I will definitely continue that series. But for today, I thought, let's get back to basics. We're just gonna do a regular old squishy makeover. Let's get started. Okay, for the first makeover, we are going to be utilizing this macaron. Squish value, I'd say, is a good seven or an eight. We're sanding that down, and then we're taking out the second part of this, which is this little cat squirrel. It has a keychain on it, which we will have to cut off. I'm also trimming down some of the seams, and we're also sanding this poor guy. I'm combining both squishies to create one mega squishy. We're gluing the weird animal onto the macaroon and taking out a rubber band. These things will be rubber banded together for around 12 hours. Once this has dried and everything is stuck together, I took out my white puffy paint. The puffy paint is meant to make sure that these two squishies really stay together. The more I looked at its head, the more I, well, I had to cut it off. The hat just didn't make sense to me. That left this animal with a giant hole in its head. Oh my gosh. Once it was patched, I put a white base coat on top of this whole thing. And now we're ready for some colors. I took out my wet palette and everything was uh, kind of not wet. It was all dried out and very uh, gross. As much as I truly enjoy peeling large chunks of paint out of my paint palette, I think I do have to get a new wet palette. I'm just wasting too much paint. First color, we're dipping into this nice purple. The color is so deep, it kind of looks like a grape jelly. Grape jelly, interesting word choice. We're dipping into this light pinkish kind of purple and we're adding that to the face of this weird animal. Dipping into a slightly darker version of that same color and I wanted to put that on the head. We have a lot of purple going on for this very strange squirrel cat thing. What are you? And now it's time for some touch-ups. I used my dotting tool on the little arms and the little face. Look at his little face and his little hands and his little... He's very small. And to get a clean line, I really needed to use my dotting tool. I gave it a cute little nose and filled in the ears with purple. And now it's finally time for a second color. As I'm sure you probably guessed, this is a peanut butter and jelly themed macaroon. And the strange animal is enjoying a nice snack. Taking out a third or fourth shade of purple, it's crazy that I even have more shades, but we are making this strange animal sit in a pile of jelly. This little guy has made a real mess of things. He's got peanut butter and jelly all over him. It's on his ears, on its paws, he's sitting in it. I mean, is there somewhere you did not get peanut butter and jelly, sir? Up next, I'm adding some white highlights to this squishy. I added it in the eyes and the drippy parts of the peanut butter and the jelly. I also decided to add some peanut butter to the mouth so it looked like he was eating it. I did actually sign my signature on this squishy. In the past, you guys have told me I should sign my signature and I finally got around to doing that. I, are you happy? Here's the before and the after. I am very happy with the way this one came out. Look how much air is stuck in that macaroon. Oh my gosh, holy macaroni. Someone needs to stop me from saying these puns. We're gonna move on. The next makeover is going to require a bit of an unboxing. We're opening this box. It's from Stephanie. Tissue paper. Oh, there's a note. I could not find all my squishies, so I'll probably send another package soon. <laughs> Thank you. So we have a squishy that is a, it's a cloud. It's actually very squishy. I think Stephanie's sister painted a mask on this. Nice work. And then we also have... <laughs> A decapitated cat, no body, a lemon paper squishy. This is cool. Oh, 
Okay, this is actually really cute. You made me a rock. It's a rock. Thank you. Oh, the bane of my existence. Yeah, I could not make myself a rainbow loom bracelet. At the very least, I know I can make a bracelet. Everything fell apart, so you have made me one. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this, and I'm really glad that you sent squishies. Ah, drop that one. We're gonna use this one anyway. <laughs> If anyone else would like to send me things, squishies, you gotta be 13 plus, I have a P.O. box and you may mail me things. If I get enough of stuff, I'll do an unboxing. Okay, here is our cat head with a ripped ear and of course the decapitation <gasps> sight. This squishy is very squishy, I have to say, very slow rising, 10 out of 10. Before we do anything, I need to sand the head and clip off any of the excess seams around the head. And then we're taking out this cat. We don't want much from the cat, just its body. What? I am so sorry. We're taking out some tacky glue and pasting a bunch of glue on the bottom of the head and placing it right on top of the belly of this cat. We're also doing some dramatic plastic surgery here. Oh my god! <laughs> Once that's done, we're securing everything with a rubber band and then gluing the arms back on to the body in the right direction. Once we let that dry, I took the rubber bands off and I'm ready to shape the back of this cat. This process just basically involved a bunch of cuts to the foam until I felt like it was round enough. My absolute favorite thing that cats do is just sit on themselves when they're really chubby. I've never seen a squishy do that, so I created it. I used my slick paint to patch up anything that had a hole in it and smoothed out the skin of this squishy. To smooth out the back, I did many layers of this yellow paint before I was ready for the white base coat. After painting a nice white base coat, we finally have a fresh start, and we're using some brown paint for this cat. As I was painting it, I decided it needed a more orangey tone to it, so I used this color, and it's fairly noticeably different, but I notice. I really wanted the body of this cat to be a graham cracker, with some chocolate in its stomach, and then some marshmallows all over it. I think you can see where I'm going with this. So the idea is that this cat is a s'more and I really wanted that brown color to really look like a graham cracker. This summer, my family got a fire pit for the first time ever. I actually included the fire pit in my last squishy Top Chef makeover video with Marge. I love s'mores. I really love marshmallows in particular. Anytime a dessert has marshmallows on it, I love it and I always get it. He needs a name. Name Graham, like after Graham Cracker. Yeah, I like that. I would name it Mel, but we actually already have a Mel and it's after a watermelon. Graham over here is actually very cute, but has some real issues sitting on his own. So we needed to use a donut to prop him up. And here is the before and the after. He still falls over a bit, but he's super cute. I don't know guys, I think Graham might actually be my favorite squishy now. He has a lot of air in there. It's okay, Graham, let it out. <laughs> Up next, we're moving on to this popcorn. It's pretty squishy, I'd give it like a six. It's not, it's not that slow rising, but it's pretty good. We're sanding down the squishy and also chopping off any of the excess seams. Oop, that was a mistake. I'm covering up the seams because they were just sticking out too much and I'm giving it a nice white base coat. Dipping into some light pink for the left side of this Italian ice. I don't know if you guys have seen the red, white, and blue Italian ices with the yellow cup. That is what I was trying to create here, taking out my green puffy paint to put a line of green across the bottom of the cup. And then I'm using this pencil to sketch out the eyes for this icy. Yes, I am actually putting a face on this. My idea for this squishy was initially coming from the fact that the top of the popcorn, it just looks like a brain and that was the only thing I could think of until I thought of making a brain freeze. Get it? Yes. There's an Italian ice on the top, that's his brain, and he's having a brain freeze. So he's in total consternation. His face looks so upset. When I was creating the eyes, I added the glimmers and I kept looking at it until I realized the eyes needed a little bit of an outline. I feel like once I did that, it looked so much better. Last step is adding my signature. And here is the before and the after for this brain freeze cup of Italian ice. He's weird, I like it. 
And here they all are together. They're so cute. I don't have a name for the peanut butter and jelly little thing. So leave a comment down below. I always like your suggestions better than mine and we can vote in the community tab. Oh, I'm just really arranging them in all different positions. And then I put them on their place on the shelf. I have created so many squishies at this point, it's getting a little bit out of hand. I don't think I'm anywhere near Mariah's amount of squishies, but it's certainly a, a decent amount. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye!